Well, here we are again, Harriet, my old partner in crime. It seems to have come around quickly, doesn't it? It Gosh. seems no time since the last Bake Off. Gosh, I don't know. Where has the year gone? Into the past, never to be seen again. Oh, goodness me. But we are Where here are at we? Zinc. We are here at <laughs> Zinc at uh, Federation Square yeah. for set Bake Off. First time at this venue, which is a bit of a change in tradition. But it is a lovely venue, plenty of space. And it's a beautiful day. It is lovely. Just and right to Bake Off. And there are some fabulous entries. And we're going to be talking yeah. to some of the um, the uh, the bakers, the the makers, and the movers the and shakers creators. in the community. How is that? That rhymed. Wow, that's. We're going to be talking. I, no, no. I didn't know it too. But we'll be talking to them and a whole lot more right inside Zing. McDonald, hello! Rainbow jelly? Oh, look, I'd love some. Which one? Oh, it's too difficult. I have this one here. And has Ben TV entered a cake? Yes, we did. Oh, good. Would you like no. to bribe a judge? No. Oh. No, but someone oh, else did. Do you like some rainbow jelly? Oh, I'll miss some rainbow jelly, but I'm from Spaced Out. We'll bribe the judge. You'll bribe the judge. Excellent. Spaced Out's going to win. She's a good cook. like a still installation lady cake to me. Who are you and who are you? I'm the Midsummer Entrant and I am Mama's homemade sponge. <laughs> wow, what a homemade woman you are. That's right, that's right. Oh, obviously we're entering in the novelty section. There's, um, unless you're very cute, there's no nibbling on the cake. <laughs> oh please, well I'm so disappointed. Thank oh, no, you. Darling, you can nibble. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Thanks very much. No problem.
and we're here with the boys and girls in blue. Um, Constable Danielle, or Senior Constable Danielle, I beg your pardon, and Senior Constable Josh. How are you going, guys? Yeah, good, thanks. Good, thanks. Now, have you guys uh, done a bake-off before in your capacity with the police force? No. It's the first one for me. Oh, really? One? Yep, yeah, definitely. And I believe, Danielle, you've uh, toiled away making this masterpiece we see in front of us, have you? Yes, it was myself and my mum. Um, I have to give most of the credit to my mum because she made the cakes and then we spent all day yesterday with the Smarties and the icing and yeah, it was great fun. I'm, gl I'm glad we did it because it's turned out okay. <laughs> well, it's a good fun cake. It really sums up the spirit yeah. of the community and what you guys are doing. Yeah. Where, uh, how long have you guys been in the glow roles now? Um, I've been in the role about nine months. Only one month. Really? And what regions are you from? I'm from Region 2, which is Geelong and running down towards Horsham, okay. southwest of the state. Uh -huh. And I'm Region 1, Mel and Scott's Old area. So I'm covering the Region 1 area, St Kilda, Melbourne, right. popular areas. And have you guys compared notes in terms of differences and issues that are confronted by the communities in different areas? I'd imagine Geelong and down that way is a bit different to St Kilda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, there is a lot of difference. Um, and. A couple of weeks ago, Scott and Lisa ran a course for the Gay and Lesbian Liaison Officers and um, that was a week course and we all attended there and a lot of other people were just interested in the sort of the issues and that. And um, sort of, and that's brought us all together and now we can sort of cross boundaries and talk amongst ourselves and what's going on in the different areas. Did you apply for the role? Oh, I'm actually a full-time glow and I applied for it, yeah. And um, what about yourself? Um, yes, I had uh, an injury and I asked to come back to the glow role because it was empty at the time. It's something I've always wanted to do, um, something I've always been interested in since Mel Edwards started the area. Um, and our glow, glow course last week, as Josh was saying, was fantastic. We got to uh, work with other glows, work with other police, um, and start to learn about each other's issues in different areas. Get any feedback from interstate forces at all? Yes, South Australia. We had one uh, member from South Australia. Um, and then Northern uh, Superintendent from Northern Territory has come down and spoken to Scott during the week, and uh, they're interested in flying Scott up to Darwin and him running a course up there for the Northern Territory Police. Lucky. <laughs> I know. We so want to go too. Going, going Australia wide. Uh, oh, that's yeah, great. It's hopefully. good to hear. It's really valuable what you guys are doing, and we commend you for it. And um, if anybody is still, I mean, I know there's still a little reluctance in certain quarters for members of the community to come forth. What would you say to them? Um, that we're here and you can come and see us about anything that you like. Um, we're all trained in GLOW issues, um, it's confidential and we provide a great service to the GLBTI community so if you need to report a crime or you've got any issues definitely give us a call, any of us, and we'll put in 100% helping you out. Look, thanks so much and we're looking forward to uh, cutting into those <laughs> rainbow letters pretty soon. <laughs> thanks very much. Now we have a member of Victoria Police here, ladies and gentlemen. Heads up. Can I, can I have your name, sir? I'm Josh. Hello, Josh. Josh, any ideas of what you're going to be doing? Is it going to involve party hats? Oh, absolutely no idea. I'll wait and see what everyone else is doing to go along with those things, I think. Sounds good. Now, just a reminder that they are themed, Laurie. Each of these contestants will be given a theme. And you'll be opening the envelope in just a moment. Ah, yes, this is a surprise element, isn't it? So you will be given a theme and you need to try and decorate your cake on a theme. Any ideas? What's your name?
palettes. A little bit more color. All right, Luke, would you like to do the final countdown for us, please? Ten, nine, between Team Midsummer and Thomas and Madison. So it's between gay oppression and dental floss and a lush and new green rabbit proof friends. Shall we give it a go? First of all, Team Midsummer. Or Thomas and Madison. The speed decorating goes to Thomas and Madison. So we're going to do cakes first, novelty first. First prize in novelty goes to the Gay and Lesbian Liaison Police Officers. Someone needs to come up and pick their prize. This is the biscuits and sweets category and first prize goes to Have Over by DTs. Oh, this was for the interactive cake. That's the Stargate Warbler. <laughs> Yay! This is actually horrible. Oh, 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 I didn't know. Ah, number two in the case goes to Dad Scott with that yummy chocolate cake for pure decadence. Where are you, Dad? This one is third prize in the novelty cake, and it's that pathetic effort of Fed Square over there. <laughs> And third prize in the case goes to the MCB case. Hello, the Yellow Brick Road. The very last prize is um, a special category that we invented while we were up there. And that has to go to the um, cake without the use by date. And that is the Midsummer Sarah Lee Sponge. Sexing the cherry and eating the cherry. Backwards on Ben TV. We're uh, talking film now, and Mark Lucasy and I have been joined by Andreas. Welcome, Andreas. How are you going? Good stuff. Now we've recently uh, looked at a film which was big in the uh, the film festivals earlier in the year, and is sort of taking the world by storm now in DVD. It's from Spain, and it's called Bear Cub, directed by Miguel Alabadeo. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Mm. I thought it was really warm. Mm. Warm was the the best way to describe it, and it's the relationships. Some about a gay guy called Pedro, whose sister's whose sister has a son, um, Bernardo, and the sister and her boyfriend go off to India mm. on a little sojourn. Mm. And bless her heart, she's a bit of an alternative old uh, <laughs> old mother, isn't she? And she uh, got done for drugs basically and thrown into a luxurious Indian prison. Mm. Thus, Pedro has to take on Bernardo as a and like basically adopt his nephew mm. and um, that all the relationships were warm him and his sister Pedro and, and the sister obviously loved each other deeply despite the little tiffs they might have had yeah. um, then Pedro and Bernardo you know it was really that father son almost bond that developed and um, you'd probably be able to identify with the reality that was played with mm. being a father yourself yeah and um, it celebrates it really openly celebrates the less than perfect human body it um, mm -hmm. it just shows shows you as it is tu familia no sabe que entiendes si lo saben pero no quiero recibirlos con dos tíos en la cama 
Yeah. You know, and it's um, don't be ashamed um, that you're, you know, you're not six foot two and, um, you know, like a Greek god. Sorry, Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as we're not looking all beautiful like Andreas, <laughs> you'd fit into this film, basically. <laughs> and um, another thing that really impressed me about it is that, um, look, dare, dare I say this, um, John Howard should see this film. Oh God. I'm sorry about that, Johnny. Um, but because the reason I'm saying that is because it uh, shows that gays, um, gay men, I'm going to say it is uh, basically about gay men, but it shows gays as perfectly normal, ordinary people. You know, it, we're, we're not all trissy. As opposed to what I was going to say. Yeah, yes. not all trissy, <laughs> beautiful glamorous queens. queens you know <laughs> just very normal ordinary yeah, people yeah. the third thing i would like to mention i'm oh, sorry i'm hogging this hogging this oh we but, don't mind hogs go for it uh david castello um <clears throat> i've got a um a review here from film journal international and uh david castello is the boy the actor who mm. plays nine-year-old bernardo uh for the majority of the film and uh, david castello is uh, just put on for me the most brilliant performance by a child. Um, it's just so unpretentious. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, uh, what's the word for it? Um, just ordinary. He was just himself. He's just a natural. Yeah, a He's natural. He's just a natural. Yeah. He's going to go a long way, I think. Um, Pedro, the uncle, was really hesitant. I mean, he um, absolutely adored Bernardo, mm. his nephew. But he was also, uh, even at the end of the film, it's very open. There's no closed endings to it. He's very hesitant in... Uh, committing himself, his mm. emotions, to yeah. a relationship. Mm. And it's the same for his nephew. Con hace solo 15 días vas a poder soportarlo. ¿Pero qué dices, soportar? No hay nada que soportar. Bernardo es mi sobrino favorito. Pero si soy el único que tiene. El único legal. A ver si te crees que los novios de tu tío no tienen hermanas y hermanos con niños. ¿Te vas a llevar bien con el tito? ¿Me lo prometes? Vale. ¿Eh? Que no diga que soy una hippie que te he educado fatal. Déjalo ya en paz. Nos vamos a llevar muy bien, ¿a que sí? Yeah. Yeah, what did you think of it, Andreas? Yeah, I think um, about the end of the film, um, uh, when the nephew uh, was uh, with uh, the grandma died, um, the uncle said, well, let's not charge the grandma. And mm. I was like that one. And what I want to say, um, because a lot of people, uh, they talk about negative about the guys, um, I think we let's not charge them, just mm. educate them, and let's know more about us. Mm. And, um, I thought so. Well, it was well, just, yeah. yeah. That's a good point, actually. Definitely. I mean, it was pro promoting um, a different view of altern alternative people in general, because mm. not only the relationship with his gay uncle, mm. but the fact that his mother, as a, Bernardo's mother, as a so somewhat alternative woman, you know, sort of an earth mothery doing drugs type, mm. she had raised an exceptionally balanced. Yeah capable son with a lot of confidence. I mean, at how old was he? Nine? Nine he could cook for himself. Mm. He could take care of himself. And, and his uncle. Exactly, yeah, and <coughs> indeed his uncle. Yeah. yeah. And he was very worldly mm. and nothing shocked him. Mm. And he was open to the ideas of, rather than closeting children against, oh, sexual ogres, you know, poofters or whatever. Yeah. He was open to these ideas and he could judge for himself, truly judge. He was truly free to make yeah. that judgment. The other thing I want to say is, um, um, the law has to have to change because uh, I remember in the film um, the uncle was um, uh, actually the grandma was um, take action uh, for uh, the uncle yeah. because it was a guy or HIV or whatever something. Well, she was effectively um, blackmailing. Yeah, it, yeah, it was she uh, did. something really mm. um, at one point black point and what yeah. not really. But there was an interesting twist though. Um, I don't want to give away. Don't give away the no spoiler, no, no spoiler, no major ones. But it has, a, it has a really interesting twist at the end of it, uh, yeah. towards the end of it. And the the other major irony for me was the grandmother getting her way in taking him away, because because Pe Bernardo is taken away from Pedro for a while at the grandmother's instigation. Mm. The irony being, she turns out to be the alcoholic under mm. the you know polished posh veneer. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> brilliantly crafted film on several levels. Tito. Cuando mi madre me dejó aquí, yo no quería quedarme. Ni yo contigo. A ver qué te crees. Ahora te quiero mucho. Yo te paso. Y 
quiero mucho. Um, available now on DVD from all and sundry places, out video and certain public libraries too, which I'm really pleased to see. Oh really? I mm -hmm. Certainly Yarra right. Melbourne has it, I'm sure others do too. Good. I think that's a wrap for us chaps. Mm, Thanks for perfect. joining me to talk a bit of celluloid again. Thank you. Not cellulite, as much <laughs> as I, I'm in denial about that, but we will see you soon here on Bent TV. Bye bye. See ya. Without the applause, so if you guys could clap, please. Yay. Thank you.